Hello and welcome to I Am Geek and this is episode 65 and we are back. I am Ryan and I'm here with my brother Chris and our good pal Katrin, <laughs> whose first name is Chris. <laughs> yeah. I made that clearer. I may put a little blooper at the end of this episode, maybe. <laughs> Stay tuned and check that out. But how are you guys doing? You doing good? Doing good. Yeah, doing good. We just recorded a promo for um, any podcast or anybody that wants to use it. So uh, let us know if you want to use it. We'll send it right over to you. That's good. You can put it on your podcast if you want to. Or not. You can keep it for your personal <laughs> listen. I don't know. Make it a ringtone. Yeah, make it a ringtone. Yeah, we'll do that. Make it a ringtone. <laughs> that would be hilarious if our promo was a ringtone. Anyway. <laughs> put it on repeat on your iPod. People have got iPods, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Do people do they even still make iPods? Maybe. Probably. Uh, uh, maybe. Why not? They do. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. So we were we we're talking about what we we're going to talk about on this episode, and I decided, hey, let's just put a poll up on Twitter and Facebook and see what, you know, the people, because we're all about the people, what the people mm-hmm. choose. And so basically it was between finish up talking about Comic-Con um, a versus battle, or something different. So, at the end of the poll, uh, 59% said finish up Comic-Con, 35% said versus battle, and 6% said something different. So, for the beginning of the show, we're going to finish up Comic-Con, and then we'll make some announcements about those other options uh, towards the end of the show. So, this is ooh, our... Gonna... Other. Ooh, I know, I can't wait for other. Uh, anyway, so... <laughs> So we're going to finish up talking about Comic-Con because now Comic-Con 2018 is over. But before we start on that, we're not going to get into it because Katrin hasn't watched it yet. But I meant to talk about this last week and I totally forgot. I have fallen down a rabbit hole. I My uh-huh. wife was out of town. Um, I was looking for something to watch on TV. This doesn't sound like it's going where I I know, I know. Uh, I mean, it's not, whatever's happening, you blame it on your wife. Yeah. <laughs> so, She's not there? Well, she wouldn't watch this. She wouldn't be like, hey, let's sit down and watch this. So I turned like, on the hey, TV, hey. and CBS was on, and Big Brother was on. Oh, okay. And I've <laughs> fallen down the rabbit hole of Big Brother. I've watched, I haven't watched it in years and years and years. I guess it's its 20th yeah. season. And 20th I've fallen season. down the rabbit oh, hole, and I'm just uh, like, cracking up at the people that are on this show yeah Um, we won't go into tonight's episode because tonight's episode was hilarious and it was like it blew up in big brother's face and the contestants face and everybody's face um if you saw it tonight uh, it was an eviction it was hilarious so katrin you got to watch it so you and me can always talk about it yeah Um, 20 20 seasons and then that makes me feel old and very sad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wonder if that counts <laughs> the, uh, the celebrity ones, uh, or at least they had one celebrity season like yeah. last year or something. But Which, I, I mean, technically, that. was it really celebrities? I mean, <laughs> uh, it wasn't like Tom Hanks was in the Big Brother house. No. <laughs> it's all this the, guy was on a local car commercial. People that need exposure. <laughs> yeah. But so I found I've fallen down, and the bad thing is they air it like what three times a week. It's three to Sunday, Wednesday, oh, Thursday. Oh. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, I gotta watch. I gotta see what's going on. And then there's people on Twitter that talk about it, so it pops up on my Twitter feed, and I'm like, oh, okay. yeah. Like who's oh, winning the veto? I'm, who's being evicted? And it's it there's, sucks you. there's some. Uh, I haven't watched the past episode or past seasons, but people have said that. This one has been way better than the past season. Yeah, I said that I think to you last week. I said it's it's um it's definitely better than the previous few seasons. Um, it doesn't fail. You they start a season and we're annoyed with every single person. You're like I don't like any of these people. <laughs> and this one, it's funny because the people that we've ended up liking, and I think you said this too, Ryan, uh, are the ones that we didn't think we'd like at the beginning of it. Yeah, you know, some yeah. of them, like Tyler. And you know, I don't know what happens, so don't you know? Is he your favorite? Like, who's your favorite? I think I I think he's become my favorite because I thought he was gonna be just some stupid surfer dude, you know. (laughs) And he's come out to be. He's pretty intelligent about the game, like the way he's done. He's like running the house, you know. And 
Oh, gosh, I was just thinking this is uh, this is probably not what our listeners really want to hear about. So. <laughs> you never know. There are all there's there's lots of secret Big Brother watchers out there. But we're gonna if you title if you title <laughs> Big Brother episode secret. whatever then, then uh, yeah secrets of Big Brother <laughs> yeah I'll just write that <laughs> down. But anyways, <laughs> it's yeah it's definitely better than uh, recent years past. I uh, still have the anno- same annoying people, though, that think oh, way too much of themselves. And There are some annoying uh, people. But the person that I like, I think, the best, which I shouldn't like them, but uh, he makes me laugh so much, was is the Brett guy. Oh, gosh. <laughs> we, I, so he's a cybersecurity specialist, yeah. right? He's very intelligent, and he looks like a, a doofus. You know, the way he's big, muscular guy looks like a doofus. He's a bro. And he's a bro, right? And I did like him at first, but he's actually gotten on my nerves more as it goes on. Now, I don't know what happens. Maybe there's something else. That, but, uh, but you I saw think, the speech that he gave, right, before yeah, he, the eviction, where he yeah. basically blamed it all on this other yeah. weird lady that's Rockstar weird. Rockstar yeah. is her name. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to say her name. Uh, <laughs> i like him and i like i like um i like sam yeah sam's probably my favorite though i think of the whole thing I, I, yeah that's true yeah she's, she's funny I, I would like her to win the whole thing because she's she's pretty cool so and she's not afraid to call people out on stuff which is yeah hilarious. and her speech on the uh when she nominated the, those yeah. people and uh <laughs> it's like I've, I've already met my mind I don't, don't want anybody to talk to me about it. I don't want any one-on-ones. Just leave me alone. I'm gonna. This is my room, and if you want to come up here, I'll invite you. But you can't go up here unless I'm up here. <laughs> it's like oh. <laughs> so. She's funny. I can't. You gotta watch I can't it, do it, Chris. I, can't watch it. I finally, I finally got out of, I finally got out of watching the Bachelor and Bachelorette shows. I no, can't this is way start better. Something else. Yeah. And the the closest I get. Is face off, which is in its final season. Oh, face off. Unfortunately. It's about taking yeah. people's faces off and putting them on other people's faces. Yes. Oh. Mm. Just, uh, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sci-fi show it's where a there's a show. makeup artist. Yeah, yeah. yeah surgery show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, anyway. it's just it's cool. Nicholas yeah. Cage <laughs> and John Travolta. <laughs> Speaking of Nicholas Cage, he's going to be in the new. Uh, he's going to be in the new Spider-Man movie. Yes, he's, he's going to be Spider-Man Noir. Uh, awesome. I hope he's he... also he's also Superman in the Teen Titans Go movie, which I've heard that has <laughs> got like a hundred percent on Rotten Tomato. Yes. Oh my goodness! I want to see this movie. I love the show. It's hilarious. Like it is like the best like superhero show on TV right now. I think it's so funny. I've heard the uh, movies. And great, yeah. yeah, the movies. The movie's them wanting to make a movie. Like Robin is like every superhero gets a movie, and no one wants to make a movie about Robin. And they're at a movie theater, and they're seeing all these previews come up. And he's like, "Yes, this is gonna be about me." And then it's about Alfred. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, so go check out Big Brother. I don't know. <laughs> Goofy. Let's ge- let's geek out about let's it. Let's geek out about it. Let's have a spinoff. <laughs> I am Big Brother. <laughs> you guys enjoy that. <laughs> Would that be your guilty pleasure, or you know? The... I think so. I yeah. Think so because you don't I, want to tell people that you watch. Them. I know. Like there's somebody. There, we have a guest here right now, and um, I was like, "Hey, have you ever watched Big Brother?" She's like, "No," and I'm like, "Oh." And then I told her what was happening. And I was like, I think the kids call it um, that these people are, are extra. Like, they're just, and she's like, yeah, that's what the kids say, extra. Like, <laughs> you're so extra. Uh, I'm I, showing my that's, age. That's uh, a new one. Yeah. That's a, I heard that. Yeah. I've heard basic. Like, no. we're so basic Like, right extra now. means like you're over the top, I think. Yeah. I don't know. We just lost half of our listeners. They're gone. <laughs> Anyways, right, so, so uh, yeah, so then she watched it with me tonight, <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, "Why do you watch this?" I'm like, "Cause it's ridiculous." <laughs> Anyways, um, so oh, before we get to, uh, also before we get to Comic Con, there's some sad news. <laughs> Very sad news. Disney has announced we're never getting into Comic Con. Disney has announced that straws. That's my ten- Tennessee accent coming out. Straws are Straw, going straws. going away. Straws. No more. It really sucks. Yeah. 
I see what you Charles, did there. They have to drink, have to drink drinks like a peasant. Are they doing paper <laughs> straws or? They're... That's what I read. You know, they do the Animal Kingdom already, uh, but uh, they're going to do more of that, I think. But you know, Starbucks did it as well, and they changed their lid. Uh, wasn't it Starbucks? Some, some yeah, Starbucks. they have a sippy cup lid now that uses eighty-five yes. percent more plastic <laughs> than a straw. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, yeah. Perfect. I mean, a lot of people are, are just like, "Well, I'll just bring my own. I don't really care." And uh, you know, whatever. Um, and then other people were kind of uh, laughed at the whole thing of um, the fact that Ziploc now sponsors Splash Mountain. <laughs> and they'll be handing out plastic bags, yeah. plastic Ziploc bags at the ride so that <laughs> when you're on the ride, you can put your wet clothes in this bag or, or your phone in the bag to keep it dry. Whatever you're doing, you know, not on the ride, you wouldn't put your wet clothes in. But anyway, <laughs> put things in the bag. <laughs> keep it dry, Big Ziploc you bag. Get around with you. you know, so it's kind of funny. It's like you're, <laughs> so, oh, hush. so you're getting rid of straws, but you're getting in plastic bags. Yeah. It, 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 now, straws are not super reusable. I mean, some people do. They put them in the dishwasher. I'm like, whatever. They're cheap. You know, don't do that. Um, but uh, um, but Ziploc bags you could wash, uh, or you you know whatever you put but, in but them. People can... really do that. I've never washed a Ziploc bag. I, hey, my uh, my in laws <laughs> do it. Um, so old people. I think <laughs> old people do it. That's <laughs> bad. I hope they don't. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Uh, they would probably say, "Yeah, we do," you know, and and uh, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think yeah. that's, hey, that's fine. It. But um, it's just funny that they announced it almost. This, it's like same the same time, day. Yeah. yeah, it's like what? <laughs> but so they'll wash their Ziploc bags out in that Splash Mountain water, and then yeah, <laughs> put yeah. their snacks. Oh. In it. <laughs> but and they, oh no, I just have a view <laughs> or, or in my head, I imagine that. They'll get the Ziploc bags, they'll put their stuff in it, and then they'll get off the ride and be like, I don't need this anymore, and just throw it on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. A pile of Ziploc bags. Ridiculous. Yeah. And, and they make these reusable straws now that are like stainless steel. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't think I could do that. And plus, I'm like, where am I going to wash this thing? You know, if yeah. I'm, especially if I'm at a park. So I'm just going to, we'll probably have a bag. We, we take all kinds of stuff to the park when we go. <laughs> so we'll have a Ziploc bag. <laughs> full, <laughs> of straws. Know, full of straws that we're full like, here you go, straw. Charlie. You know, it's like hand them a straw, you know. And Well, and, they have uh, to have some kind of something to use because they they're not going to give straw. people <laughs> cups without lids on them because then there's just going to be a mess everywhere. Right. Well, they, that's what some people said is like uh, people with disabilities a lot of time will need a straw of some sort. Um and then kids, you can't give them a cup with a, without a lid because they're just going to spill it everywhere. Or there's bugs that are going to get mm-hmm. into it, you know. And mm-hmm. so, it, there's yeah, they have to buy their special edition cups that come with straws. That's right. They do <laughs> have yeah, yeah exactly the it. collector cups. And they do, they do, yeah, they do collector cups. So <laughs> yeah. they or they're going to make a straw called the magic straw and charge twenty seven ninety nine for yeah. it. And it glows. You can, it glows. So it when we go in October, we're gonna line our we'll wear cargo pants and stuff or shorts, fill them with straws, and then we'll stand and we'll sell them to uh, people coming out of these places. So like, hey, you want a you want a dollar a dollar for a straw, and, and we'll rake it in. <laughs> It'll pay for our vacation. Just have a big trench, have a big trench coat on. And you're like, hey kid, come hey, here. Kid, come here. Well, that's, that's well, what's well, funny about that is I saw a meme. Well, and- yeah, I saw a meme with a guy with a, a, a trench coat and a guy, another person's walking up to him. It's like a cartoon. And he says, yeah, can you get me some straws? And it said uh, Animal Kingdom in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> well, I heard there's a place in California that's making it illegal. And if you sell, if you give people straws, you get jail time, which I think is ridiculous. Oh, well, they make everything illegal in California. <laughs> It's yeah. true. There's a whole thing that they, they they stopped doing plastic bags in grocery stores, but the the they had paper bags. But like I just remember like no yeah. paper bags are terrible. Yeah. Like you're cutting out all the trees. Yeah. Is are we are we plentiful on trees again? Right. Yes. That was the, that was the fun <laughs> trees are good now. That's why we have plastic straws and plastic bags is because we were we did use paper <laughs> and now everybody's going back to paper. Because, well, everything, yeah. what's, I guess, kind of um, interesting about that is, you know, and in, in, I'm in IT and everything is, oh, we're paperless everywhere, you know, and I'm in, we do electronic medical records, right? We still use a ton of paper, but I'm sure it's a lot less paper <laughs> than we used to. So maybe that, you know, 
maybe that is contributing in some ways is that a lot of things you're not, um, you don't have to print a receipt every time unless you go to Kroger and then you get the mile long receipt, right. Or whatever, you know, (laughs) but, uh, it, there are a lot more things that are paperless. You have the opportunity. So maybe, maybe there is more paper. I don't know, but it is, it is more biodegradable. Uh, right. Yeah. yeah. So it's mm. not as harmful, uh, when you, when you think about it, but they also said cigarettes were okay a long time ago too. So, <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> you know, that's, that's a lot a of bad coffee. Got there, son. Have yeah. a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> and here's some lead paint to wash it down. <laughs> They just need to make edible straw. That's cookies. Well, they do. They do. They do. You can so they buy these do straws that. that are um, like you put in your cereal or something, or I don't know, something like that, and it, yeah. or drink your chocolate. But it's like it would just fall apart. But same as the paper well, straw. They, they have them at, or at least they used to at Starbucks. They had edible straws. It was yeah. just like cookie straws. Hmm. Yeah. You get with your. They should just get rid of cups and everything. When you walk in, you just put your hands out, and they pour it into your hands, and you slurp it down. There so I've solved I've solved the world crisis. Wow. Please Anyways, yes, I have some. this has been I Am Geek, the uh, <laughs> environmental Red episode. Is, <laughs> the show about the straws. Uh, anyway. The show that's... Oh, no. The show that sucks. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> Probably after this, yeah. Perfect. Uh, anyways, so let's talk about Comic-Con. <laughs> Finally, our last Comic-Con. episode, we were it, we were recording it during the first day of Comic Con, so some stuff has started. But now it's over, and uh, a lot oh, of stuff no. dropped. It looks like WB pretty much ruled the Comic Con from the looks of it. Warner Brothers and DC, yeah, they just kind of took it all. <laughs> and again, I think yeah, it goes Marvel back to Disney. they're the people that aren't owned by Disney, so yeah. They rule Comic Con now, pretty much. <laughs> so, uh, where should we start? I mean, there's a lot of good trailers. I've got down here at least one, two, three, four, five, five like blockbuster movie trailers, and then there was some Netflix stuff, and then all kinds of stuff. So, I say we just start with my man, <laughs> Aquaman. Aquaman. <laughs> Well, it surprised me. It yeah. surprised me a lot better than I thought it was going to look. Oh, it looked great to me. Yeah, no, it looked really good. <laughs> so, no, I'm very, I was very yeah, impressed. So, they, uh, they did a really good job with it. Um, the underwater scenes look great. It's, I mean, it's like Star Wars underwater. Uh, the good Star Wars underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not start on that. Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> he's in there. Yeah, yeah he's, in, he's swimming in the background. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, no, help, I, I, cool. help me out here with this Aquaman thing. So in the okay. Justice League, was it happening before this Aquaman movie? Yes, I believe so. So he doesn't know anything that's Justice going on League. down below the water. I can't. It seems like he's he's aware of it. Because in Justice League, he went down there specifically. He knew where to go. So he's aware of everything. Uh, but he didn't really, hasn't wanted to have a part of it. But in Aquaman, his brother, Orm, I believe, um, he's decided to wage war against the surface world. And Mira, um, who uh, becomes his wife in the comics, eventually um she comes and like says like look you got to come back you got to be king you got to take over because he's going to like cause an all-out war over the earth so and so i think that's that's it's almost like a game of thrones type thing going on um but yeah i don't know it uh it looks good black manda who's another villain is in there but he's not the main villain his brother's the main villain uh but black manda looks awesome to me I think they did a great job bringing what he looks like from comics into the like a real world setting because uh, I think he just looks so cool. Like so, the, they they got the big eyes. So what part do you think he's gonna play in it? Well, I'm guessing like at some point Orm like recruits him, but in from what I've heard or like read that Aquaman and I think. When in the trailer, when you see him go down to that sub and that, yeah, and, uh, and he starts talking to people, 
that's where uh, Black Mana is introduced. It's like him and his father are like pirates. Oh, and basically, okay. when um, Aquaman kind of takes down that ship, I think his father dies in there uh, by accident somehow. And uh, Black Mana blames him for his death and seeks revenge against him. Gotcha. So there's there's people that look like humans underwater, and there's people that look like fish underwater. Yes. How yeah, there's like it, there's at least like three races. They've all evolved differently. Like when Atlantis sunk, there was like different tribes. I think in the comics, there's like six or seven tribes that kind of splintered off and it eventually whittled down to like three or four or something like that. And yeah, we saw like one they evolved to be more like fish, and then we saw another one from the trench, and those are like the monster creatures that you saw. So they basically evolved this cannibalistic kind of group where, like, they they live in the deep where it's, like, super dark. There's not a lot of food, so they become kind of cannibalistic. And there's, like, a big storyline in the comics that I haven't got to read, which is supposed to be really good, which I want to read, um, where, yeah, the trench attacks and that's those creatures. Because there's a cool scene in the trailer where they're jumping off of this boat mm-hmm. with, the, with the kind of flare and you see all of them just like swarming around them and falling down. It yeah. looked really cool. It was really nicely shot. I just watched it again while we're talking. <laughs> it, looks, <laughs> it looks cool. So then the final scene is they're in Aquaman and Mira. Mira are in an airplane and she jumps out over a desert without a parachute. Yep. And then he jumps out. I don't. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> they don't need a parachute. Why? Hey, if Cap. Captain America can do it. Aquaman can do it. But I don't. I never thought of Aquaman had this like invincibility power. Well, he's, he's not invincible. Like basically, he's <laughs> um, I, I think he's his skin and everything. He's he's built to survive the pressures of the deep ocean, which okay. makes him so on land. Like it, bullets don't necessarily bounce off of him; they may like graze him. But like he's he's like super dense kind of muscles and skin and everything but underwater like since from what the director has been saying like everything in atlantis has been built to where it could destroy him because it's built to be sturdy and can handle the people and with the fighting and everything but on land like the weapons we have up here don't do that much to him basically gotcha Patron, any thoughts? He's Looks like, there's great. an Aquaman movie? <laughs> <laughs> no, no I, y'all did well there. I'm going to leave the next person. Yeah. Looks great. So. <laughs> Looks great. <laughs> well, should we? Let's, let's move on then to Shazam! Shazam! <laughs> First off, it's starring um, not only Chuck. But the uh, boy from uh, that new Disney show. Oh, Andy, that show. Andy Mac. Andy Mac, yeah. And that's the cool. other kid is from It. Oh, yeah, that's right. I tried to watch that Andy Mac show. I don't really recommend it. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway so I was surprised to see him. Because I was like, oh, it's that guy. Um, but then... <laughs> So I watched like one episode or something, Andy Mac, and that kid that's in this show uh, decides he wants to play guitar, and so he mm-hmm. takes lessons from some other dude that's in the show, and within the span of a twenty-minute episode, he learns to play guitar and write a song and perform the song in front <laughs> of this girl that he likes. And I'm like, what? Yeah. That's dumb. <laughs> that sounds like Jared Collinger. <laughs> <laughs> The story anyway. of Jared Collier. I just I could just see Han Solo going. That's not the way this works. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, okay, so so basically, Shazam is a there's a kid, and some force finds him worthy to become an adult man with superpowers. Right? Basically, I mean, yeah. There's there's a wizard called Shazam who bestows his power like through the centuries on people he found he finds worthy uh, in order to become like a protector of like people, the people on earth and everything. Um, 
which is funny. The the guy that plays the wizard Shazam, he's the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, when Star Lord is like, "I'm Star Lord," he's like, "Who?" Oh. <laughs> that guy. That's him. He's also in Aquaman. He's the guy that looks like the fish. He's the fish guy. <laughs> so he's like he's everywhere. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Shazam. So Billy Batson is the kid. Um, yeah, he bestows his power on him. It looks funny. It looks. Oh good. yeah, it looks really it's funny. Good. Yeah, it's very lighthearted. I like uh, Zachary Levi. But uh, yeah, he's funny. Yeah. Um, he's he's really good. Um, and, <laughs> and he just like you're immune. You're immune to bullets or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bullet immunity. <laughs> so he says when he says Shazam, then he turns into Shazam. Shazam, the which adult. in the in the comics originally he was called Captain Marvel. Like he was part of I think Charlie uh, comic, something like that. It was before DC. DC bought the character. So uh, the wizard was Shazam. He would say the wizard's name and he would turn into Captain Marvel. Of course. Their Marvel comics, mm-hmm. and they had a character Captain Marvel. Eventually, they kind of won out, <laughs> and so he they just renamed him Shazam. Shazam. Do you know what Shazam stands for? Because each letter stands for something. Without ah. googling it, without googling it. Um, their name. They're the names of the powers from the people that he gets in. One of them's like Hercules. It's H. One of them's Zeus. I think there's Atlas, um, Mercury is one of them. I can't remember what the S is. Uh, you mean I looked it up? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I, I cheated. Uh, so S is the wisdom of Solomon. Solomon. And H right. the strength of Hercules. And A the stamina stamina of Atlas, uh, which including his invulnerability. Z, the power of Zeus, including his ability to summon thunderbolts. A, the courage of Achilles. And M, the speed of Mercury, including yeah. flight. Um, in the end, they yeah. add up to a power set that is basically Superman, just with lightning instead <laughs> of heat vision. <laughs> Pretty much. He's yeah, Superman's <laughs> counterpart. Um, but uh, I always like that in the comics when they have stories with Shazam because it's basically a it's basically the movie big but with a superhero. <laughs> yeah. Pretty yeah I was much. thinking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so and he, can, kind of fun. he can summon that whenever he wants to with his dick. Yeah. Which yeah. Is great. It looks funny. It's a lot. Yeah. And eventually like um the the kid, his friend, also gains powers from him. Oh really? Um it's uh Marvel Boy or something. <laughs> along with uh, another girl that's a friend of his it's i think the brother of that kid so they stay kids mary marvel yeah they stay kids but they have all the powers oh because the his friend is like um so basically if when he gets the powers then he's able to walk because in the yeah it's like he's he's got like a crutch yeah that's cool hopefully they do that at one point they had a tiger that was the those are kind of mascot (laughs) um so is the plan? Do you know, I mean, we don't know for sure. Is the plan to bring Shazam into the rest of the DC stuff? I mean, it takes place in the same universe. Yeah. Um, there's talk. There was talk about Superman showing up in this movie at some point. There's been like rumors of that. Hmm. Or uh, there's going to be a Black Adam movie. Black Adam is typically Shazam's kind of big bad, yeah. his big counterpart. In the comics, Black Adam was one of the people the wizard Shazam gave his powers to, but he kind of became corrupted and evil. Um, and that's going to be the gonna, Rock. I think. Yeah, that's that's yeah, Dwayne Johnson. He's going to be playing him. He's supposed to get his own movie. Yeah. So they're going to introduce him in his own movie, and supposedly Superman may be in that. There's talk about maybe sh- him showing up in this Suicide Squad sequel at some point. There's been a bunch of rumors about all that stuff. So, do you think Aquaman and Shazam, as well as along with Wonder Woman, because her movie was great, do you think this is what turns the DC Universe around? I'm thinking so. I think so. I think I, I think they're... Because Wonder Woman is great. I think they they seem to have trouble with the, with the team-up movies. Um, 
because I think they're just trying to do too much too soon. Yeah. And I think they've, they've got some good directors for the individual stuff where they're kind of letting them kind of evolve it. I think Jeff Johns, who's a major creative at DC, he's stepping up and kind of, he's a really great writer. And I think that he's kind of helping them to set course. He's, he's writing the new Green Lantern core movie. Um, oh. And uh, I think that'll, I think you'll at least have a good story for that. <laughs> cool. Well, that's, uh, I think that's all the DC. But, but WB's mm-hmm. not through because they have a new uh, Fantastic Beast that's coming out. Yes. The Crimes of Grindelwald. Grindelwald. Uh, <laughs> did you guys watch this trailer? Yes. Not. Katrin, come on! <laughs> <laughs> you have one job to do. <laughs> no, you said that for something else. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to say his name. You just have to say your name correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Not your real name, just your last name. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's like an uh, inside joke or something. Maybe you'll hear it at the end. Anyways, um, so, okay, so they have like another trailer for Fantastic Beasts. Which we've already seen the trailer for it, so mm-hmm. to me this was just—I don't know—it's another trailer. Well, it's I mean, it's cool. Though. It's cool, but <laughs> yeah, I think when you see like a like for Shazam or Aquaman, when you see that first trailer, you're like, oh wow, and then when you see other trailers, you're like, it's still cool, but you know, I don't want to <laughs> see the whole movie before I see the movie. Yeah. Um, uh, I did like the, I did like that you got to see Nicholas Flamel uh, <laughs> and hearing it. Is the alchemist who was talked about in um, uh, uh, the Sorcerer's Stone? He yes, made the Sorcerer's yes. Stone in in the original movie, uh, and he see he see him. He's like, "Are you a ghost?" Yeah, like, no, I'm just an alchemist. I'm really old. <laughs> he, like shakes his hand and breaks his thumb or something, and he shakes his hand. It's pretty funny. <laughs> it looks cool. I mean, I'm watching the trailer again right now with no sound on, but um, so it looks like there's. Oh, this looks like these black panther-like creatures. There's going to be more beasts that are going to appear mm-hmm. in this one. Um, uh, which, I mean, since the title says Fantastic Beasts, yeah. probably should have some beasts well, I mean, to it. More than, <laughs> I, I meant they're adding more. They're showing yeah. more than the last one. Um, and then the... Um, I forget her name, but she's played by Lenny Kravitz's daughter. Zoe Kravitz? Yeah, so she's going to be in this one. Um, as yeah, she's his original love interest. Yeah, we'll see what happens there. Mm-hmm. I forget that he he marries somebody, right? Like in the books, Harry Potter books, doesn't he? Don't they mention him in there somewhere? He's talked about like his book is mentioned. Yeah. Um, okay. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I haven't read all the books. I've watched the, all the movies. You haven't watched all the movies? No, I've watched all the movies. I haven't read oh. all the books. Um, uh, I read like the last three books, I think. You read a book? Wow. Yeah, I know. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's weird. You, you, read, you started reading the books because you found out something on the news about one of them before... I the started movie. reading the books because I didn't want to wait on the movies. Like There was like a spoiler. Like, there it was, was a, I think it was about, about someone dying. Yeah. Spoiler. <laughs> they, anyway. Yeah, they announced it like on a news program or something. You're yeah, like, what? I know. Like, <laughs> God, now I gotta read the books. <laughs> <laughs> so the the guy that plays the friend in this one, I forget his name. Uh, the actor. Uh, the human the, friend. Yeah, the guy from Goldberg. Or the muggle friend. Uh yeah, he's gonna be in the the newest season of The Walking Dead. Oh really? Yep. He was in the trailer. That was another trailer that came out. The Walking Dead. Um, he's gonna. He's in there as some other group that they that they find that's gonna like maybe join up with them. Is, is, can he still be playing the character from the Goldbergs though? <laughs> can it still be him? He's like he, he's like trying all these like weird jobs and everything, trying to sell them things. He drives up in a, in a DeLorean. <laughs> he's like a DeLorean. And he opens it and, and he says, "Come with me if you want to live." 
I because want that. He's like a I really funny it. guy, so I'm interested to see what he's going to do in The Walking Dead, you know? He's on one episode and then died. Maybe, I mean, yeah, I don't know. He's in the trailer. Um, but the trailer, I mean, just we're talking about Walking Dead. I know you guys have been watching. You guys don't really watch anymore. Uh, it, I mean, it looks like it's going to be better than last season. It's Andrew Lincoln's last season. Yeah, right? which is... Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know what to think about that. There was an interview at Comic-Con with him and uh, Norman Reedus. And I guess, originally, they had a pact between the two of them that they would leave the show at the same time. <laughs> I saw about that, yeah. And, and Andrew, then Norman Reedus is like, no, I want the money. Yeah, yeah. he's like, no, I'm staying. Because <laughs> Andrew was like... Do you have an announcement you want to make, Norman? He's like, nope. I don't want to stay and get the money. Um, so I'll be in. I what I would like to happen, which it won't happen because it's Walking Dead. I don't want to. I don't want them to kill Rick. I just want him to like something happen and he leaves. No, nah, he's gonna die. I know. <laughs> but I think it would be cooler if he just like. Something happens, some cool story around where he's just gone by the end maybe of the season. He'll, maybe he'll just go insane and he'll become the villain of the season. They have to kill him. I don't know. Like, cause, cause it, th- then they could keep him around if they finally decide to, if they make a movie, then he can come back. So maybe the tiger will come back and kill him. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, <laughs> I'm sort of over it. I'll probably still watch it. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm done with that show. I, it's just it, it it just kept going like it. It's just like I felt I was I started feeling obligated to watch it rather than wanting to watch it. Yeah, that was last yeah. season for right. us. It was like, well, I guess we'll like, try yeah. another one. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. I they did you know um, at the end you get a hint of the whispers that, that that the whispers are coming, which the whispers are from the comic book, and the whispers mm-hmm. are weird. They're people that dress up like zombies. Or walkers, yeah, and then walk amongst the um, walkers. So mm-hmm. I think they're coming to the show. Anyway, all right. So that's Walking Dead. Cross that off the list. They, they, they <laughs> should they should reveal that the walkers were started by the guy from Fear the Walking Dead. It looks like Johnny Depp, that guy, because he started doing that on that show. Oh yeah, that's one of the theories. He's part of them. I think it, I think they should make it that he started it. Yeah, I mean that's cool. So Fantastic <laughs> Beasts, um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, and then there was Glass. <laughs> official trailer. We talked about it a little bit last time, but the official trailer. Trailer. Um, did you watch it? Yes. Katrin, did you see it? I did not. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you have a another job or something. Yeah. <laughs> Watching other shows. And uh, yeah. <laughs> He's watching Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get caught up on Luke Cage. And I keep falling asleep. But Yeah. yeah we, we, we need to get back on that. We've stopped. Yeah, I got to get uh, back on that too. It tells you something. Um, Glass looks great though. I, yeah, it does look good. Oh, man. It, you know, this is this could be a really, really good movie. Um, it's funny. I I I watched the um. I haven't finished all of them yet. But the Conan shows from Comic Con. Yeah, yeah, we watched those. And they had the cast of Glass, and uh, mm-hmm. it was funny <laughs> that uh, um. Wow, wow, Samuel mm-hmm. Jackson. Sorry, um, <laughs> like every time he would see him, night be like, "When are we making the movie?" <laughs> but he doesn't say that. Well, he says, yeah, "When are we making uh, the mother." Bleep, bleep, yeah, he, he said it in a way that Samuel Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess when Unbreakable happened, the first one, um, he Sh- Shyamalan or Knight, as they call him on Conan, um, sent <laughs> Bruce Willis a script to read, and he didn't even read it. He said, "I'm in." He's like, yeah. "If you're making it, I'm in." So. Yeah, and then he like saw Samuel Jackson like playing poker or someplace like yeah, and like. And, um, like we gotta do this Cas- movie. It's gonna be good. <laughs> Casablanca. He was in Casablanca, and he ran into yeah. him. <laughs> as you do. Yeah, as, yeah. as one does. 
<laughs> but it looks like it's going to be like a dark superhero slash psychological thriller. Mm-hmm. And I'm interested. And, yeah, I'm interested to see how they use the girl from Split in this. Yeah, because like she seems like to have like a connection with uh, the guy in it in some way. Yeah, like, they bring her in. He's um, doing like 21 different characters in the movie. Yeah, at least right now he said he was editing it still, yeah. but yeah, there was like 20 something characters that he was doing. He did an amazing job in Split. Oh yeah. Um, if you haven't so, yeah. watched Unbreakable and you haven't watched Split, watch Unbreakable, watch Split, um, and then watch Glass when it comes out. Um, mm-hmm. I think you, if you like movies like we like movies, you will really enjoy it. I mean, you too, Catron. <laughs> watch Unbreakable, watch Split. I I saw Unbreakable. We talked about the last time how it was like forever ago when we saw yeah. it, but I think we all went together at some point and saw that. I remember watching it with a bunch of people, but <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, and then it has um, Paul. You're going to kick me off the show, aren't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't. Try to break out. balance. We would never do that. <laughs> we'll, um, start to, we'll start to weed you out little by little. <laughs> And then it has um, the dream that one of our listeners had one time about me uh, not being on the show. So <laughs> <laughs> our listeners dream about us. Do you dream about us? Let us know. At I am geek show <laughs> on Twitter. Let us know what you dream about. But keep it family friendly. <laughs> uh, Paula, what's her name? I don't remember anybody's names. I'm sorry, listeners. Who who's in it? She plays like the psychologist. Yeah, it was funny. They were talking to her on the interview about horror movies or something, and she goes, "Oh, I hate horror movies." I'm like, "That's all you ever star in." I know. He's on the American Horror Story. <laughs> I'm like, come on. <laughs> anyway, so I'm excited about Glass. Now, this next one, um, I'm pretty sure Katrin has seen the trailer for. So we're going to give it over to you, and you can talk <laughs> all about it. If you want to stay on this show. I'm going to we'll laugh if he goes, nope, didn't watch that one either. Um, which we opened our last episode with the teaser for this yeah. trailer. Uh, mm-hmm. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Take it away, yeah. Katrin! It was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was Fantastic Beast. That was a different trailer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I really like this trailer. I I uh, I don't know that I saw you, this is a sequel, right? Didn't we establish yeah. that? Okay, but yeah. not of the Matthew Broderick movie. No. movie. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I, so I, I hadn't seen the, the the first one, but um, but this one uh, did look pretty amazing. And the monsters, you know, you just kind of see the them in the background. It's like, oh, there's that one, and there's that one, and you're just, it, it looks really good. Um, so. There you go. We get Mothra. Yeah. We get Mothra. We get Mothra. That was the one. I I, you were asking about that last time. I was like, is Mothra in there? And we, then, because we didn't know in the first, the teaser, yeah. but in the full trailer, mm-hmm. you see it in the background. You're just like, it's oh, my God. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I'm excited. I, I grew up watching a lot of the old Godzilla movies. They would come on like TBS or just random networks all the time, like on Saturdays and stuff. I'm watching them. So, yeah, the, I've been like, Mothra's wings opened up, and it was like, oh, Mothra. Oh, it's so cool. and, and Rodan, the flying like, pterodactyl creature. Yeah. And the three-headed. Um, yeah. Um, oh, shoot, what was the name of that one? Uh, not the Hydra, but no. What do you call that? No, it's not a Hydra. Um, um, it has an actual name. Yeah, yeah. I the name of it. Um, there was a part in uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure that they had that the creature in there. There were so he's in the movie sets, you know, he's um, r- riding his bike trying to get away from all these people because he finally found his bike, you know, and he run he's going through a movie set that's of a uh, Godzilla movie, and it's it's really funny because they've got these people pulling these ropes and making all this stuff happen, and they had the three headed monster and Godzilla, yeah. and it, it was this <laughs> funny part. Ghidorah, Ghidorah, sure. Dora. I think I don't know exactly. How you so I guess we get Dora. all of the Godzilla monsters except probably the mech one. We don't probably won't get the mech one. The mech one. Godzilla probably not. Yeah, probably yeah. not that one. King Ghidorah. Um, headed one. Yeah. Okay. So I I was trying to figure out by the trailer. Um, 
some people want to find all these monsters and let them free, and then some people don't want to do that. Or I, I was trying to I figure think, that out. I think so. The the main actress who's from Bates Motel, who she did a really good job in Bates Motel. Um, she's like the mother of um, the girl from Stranger Things. Yeah, I guess in this. Um, yeah, she's all about releasing them because the people are a plague on the earth and they're going to cleanse it, I guess. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah. So I don't, I don't know. Like, I, 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 mean, I don't, I guess the monsters are kind of villains in this. The, I mean, which is kind of typical. Like, you, the, the Godzilla movies are a little weird like that. It's like, it's Godzilla. He's wrecking everything but then he fights all these other monsters and takes them down so yay he's a hero but then he kills a bunch of people (laughs) Um, (laughs) (laughs) i'm quite sure on that i just hope they go to monster island and then there's like the little godzilla jr (laughs) 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 if you haven't seen that look that up yeah he dances around (laughs) and i guess 11 um (laughs) <laughs> character tries to pet one of them or something in the trailer <laughs> so that's interesting yeah. um, anyway so that's like the big movies I think um, there was also some TV shows that got trailers there's a show called Disenchanted or Disenchantment that is by the creators of the Simpsons um, mm-hmm. which, like Futurama yeah Futurama which looks yeah. hilarious it's coming on Netflix August yeah, 17th. So like yeah, so the Simpsons is like present day Futurama, of course the future. A disenchantment is like the past, so it's like a medieval show. Yeah. <laughs> it looks it looks so funny. It's pretty <laughs> funny. <laughs> so if you like the Simpsons or Futurama, you'll probably like this on Netflix. Because even the trailer, I was it had me laughing out loud when we were watching it earlier. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> um, I'll check that out definitely. Um then there were some other sh- other shows. Uh I didn't know this. That the man in the high castle was getting another season because I never finished season two, so I need to finish that. It's on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Man in High Castle. Basically, it's if the Nazis won World War Two. Yeah, that looks looks good. I haven't watched any of it. I want to watch. It's that good. Show. Yeah, you'd like it. It's good. Um, and then there were some other sci-fi shows that uh, you guys watched Game of Thrones and its creators making some sci-fi show or something. <laughs> Yeah, George R. R. Martin. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Night Flyers. It kind of looks like a. Um, oh, shoot. What was the movie, Katrin? Event, event Horizon. Yes. It kind of looks like a, an Event Horizon type movie in like space and everything. There's like some creepy stuff happening in like a space station. But yeah, it looks, looks creepy and cool. And, and then the other show, Deadly Class on sci fi, almost looks like a. Kingsman type show, but for assassins. Yeah, these kids, kids in a school, learning to become assassins, or fighters, or whatever. It's got Wong from the Avengers and Doctor Strange. Uh, the, and the then, of, yeah, and then of course uh, it was announced uh, that Murphy Brown is coming back. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. well, that's been announced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what? <laughs> All the old they, shows are coming back. Yeah, well, I mean, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah. That's coming back. And it's going to be sort of like a continuation? Well, at first they said reboot. I'm a little confused on it. They said reboot at first, and that caused a big uproar, <laughs> of course. Yeah. And then like the the showrunner behind it came out and said that, no, like, I grew up on this. Like, this was, this was my Star Wars. And you you can't you can't replace Buffy you can't replace Xander you can't and she named like all the, all these great characters in the show, so this seems like it's more of a continuation actually because and to me that made sense because they set it up to be that way really the original show is like throughout history there's a bunch of different Slayers and so like each generation has its own Slayer so yeah. this is gonna this generation Slayer. And, like, really, if they set it up right, they can have, like, special guests from, like, the original show and stuff come on, mm-hmm. which would be cool. But, yeah. Yeah. But they, had, they didn't announce when that was coming out, did they? 
Okay. No, it'll probably be like next year or sometime next fall, I'm guessing. No. Uh, but, um, um, so did you guys uh, see any of the cosplay that's uh, going on at the old Comic-Con? Oh, a little yes. bit here and there. Anyone stick out to you? Any favorites? One of my favorites, we talked about this earlier, was the there was somebody dressed as Spider-Man, and they had this brown pieces all over them and all over the guy and he looked like he was fading away you know and i thought that was pretty clever yeah that was good (laughs) um yeah there's there's a bunch of like kind of cool ones (laughs) although i did see someone dressed just as the infinity gauntlet yeah that was hilarious (laughs) it's just a giant glove walking around (laughs) there was a, a grimace dressed up like um Thanos. There was a whole. Thought. There was a whole set of. Oh was, yeah. Yeah. It was uh, Ronald McDonald as Thor. Okay. I didn't see that. Grimace as Thanos. Thanos. Um, there was Iron Man as Taco Taco Bell. No, no, no. Was it? Iron yeah, Man? it was. It was the Taco Bell Iron Man. And KFC was. Um, uh, oh, I gotta find a picture of it. Uh, there was uh, Wendy's as Black Widow. Yeah. <laughs> And um, the, the, the incredible Panda Express or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> is, the Express is the Hulk. It was really nice. funny. Um, I think they've done oh, this before, the, but they've changed it up for this year. There was uh, Hella In and Out. Burger. Yeah. <laughs> Hella from yeah, Thor it was In and Out. That was pretty good. Uh, and Loki was something. Burger King, I think. Uh, makes sense. Yeah. Oh, KFC was uh, is Nick Fury is like Colonel Nick Fury, like it was <laughs> like no, that. No. Yeah, he had like two chickens, two chicken legs for guns. The Colonel one was white, like a white helmet with red stripes coming down, and it said the Colonel across it. Oh, uh, I didn't see that one. I saw a Nick Fury one that was the Nick Fury Colonel. was something else. I thought. I'm trying to find that. You think the picture would pop up? All right, here we go. Uh, KFC was Captain America. Oh, really? And then, uh, and then here. Oh, okay. And then the whatever the guy that has the white head with the who's the what's the fast food that has the big white head with the yellow? Oh, the Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box was um, Doctor Strange. Yeah, and then Starbucks was. I don't know who Starbucks was. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, okay. So there was a few different ones. That's funny. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm trying to think of any other ones that stuck out. There was uh, a guy that was like dressed as an arcade machine, like an arcade yeah, game. Oh. Around. You could that, actually play the arcade come game. Come play, come play. Uh, it's kind of. <laughs> creepy <laughs> which by the way did you all see that there's a company selling uh these arcade there it's it's not that they're used ones or anything they're selling them as new uh that but they're arcade machines that have the classic games of you know centipede and games like that um in one machine but it's like four hundred dollars i think and uh it's funny because you could probably if you have the right tools you could build one of your own for less than that <laughs> uh these days but uh it was neat though, neat looking. There's a there's a guy dressed uh, as Bill Murray from Space Jam. Yeah, yeah. Although he looks more like the guy from King of Queens. Than he... <laughs> right. There was a guy carrying around a big <laughs> board that had um, Infinity Wars action figures uh, for sale, exclusives, and it's just Ziploc bags full of dirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty close. So there's a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then the definitely other... higher quality too than what we we've seen. But I mean, there was high quality at Comet Palooza, but some of these I'm looking at mm. right now, I'm just like, good grief! Oh yeah, they spent a lot of money yeah. on it. And I watched like the uh, the contest, the uh, whatever. No, I watched sure. it on YouTube, and there were some good yeah, ones. Cool. Uh, the the best was a uh, river dancing Doctor Who, and it was all the doctors from Doctor Who, and they're for dancing <laughs> it was really, really funny um okay so the weird i would call it weird 
upsetting sad news coming out of Comic Con was uh, the whole James Gunn thing. Yeah. Uh, James Gunn was fired by stupid, Disney from jokes. from Guardians uh, of the Galaxy three for tweets that he made in 2010, 2011? Yeah, stuff like that. I mean, I think the latest was like two or the earliest was like twenty twelve. There was stuff is before he was hired. Um, yeah. He has a, or at least he did have a kind of terrible sense of humor about some things. Mm-hmm. Um, there was kind of like a shock type humor. Yeah. Uh, which it was stupid. Like I mean, it, it was, oh yeah, it was the, the joke. jokes were, were but, horrible. But I mean, Disney knew about it. They knew who they hired. Yeah. Um, and he, had, I think I saw something where he had apologized before. Oh, he been, apologized uh, a while back. Yeah. Yeah, a while back about it, and he apologized again and everything. And I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't think they should have fired him over it. Oh, um, oh no! It was just. There has to be something else going on that we don't know about. Um, but I I don't know. There's have to be something else. But it's just like, if you're going to fire him for that, then there's a lot of people that, that <laughs> like, not to yeah. name names, but the cast of Wreck-It Ralph pretty much should not be employed by Disney uh, yeah. for what stuff that they do, still do, you know. Every day on Twitter and stuff, they shouldn't be working for Disney. Um, Bill Cat, uh, what's his name? Um, Gold Bobcat Goldblatt. Yeah, Bobcat Bill Cat Bill Cat Bobcat. Uh, he he came out and said, "Disney, please take me out my voice out of all your stuff at Disney World and Disney Parks, because if you think that's bad, you should see some of the stuff that I used to say." Um, <laughs> yeah. So a lot of people are coming to support for him. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I don't know if, if they didn't like where he, the direction he was headed with Guardians Three, and so they used this that was brought up by some random person that found it on Twitter to get rid of him. Who knows? Who knows? But the cast are, are basically coming to his defense. Yeah. Um, Especially Batista. Yeah. He is not happy. So <laughs> maybe all of those characters will not come back. <laughs> from the last movie. They're all dead now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It seemed extreme. Um, there's a lot of people yeah, that get away uh, with a lot more. So. They're like, oh, we got our first draft room and we don't need them now. Yeah. <laughs> Saving money. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, you know, upsetting news. But um, I don't know. So that was Comic Con. I, I, there wasn't much other stuff really I mean, there was there was comic book stuff yeah right. comic book stuff <laughs> the green lantern's coming you know there's a new writer for green lantern right yeah grant morrison and liam sharp are taking over green lantern grant morrison's a really popular comic book writer he's really good um and like yeah the whole dc universe thing that whole stuff starting up with all their shows and everything which we talked about that a little bit before last podcast, but that looks really cool. Uh, the Batman Who Laughs is coming back. That's a that's a creepy Batman. So yeah. they did this whole thing. There's like all these universes, and they're Batman, Batman from different universes that were evil, and they're kind of were coming to our the main DC universe and kind of trying to take over. And the Batman Who Laughs was what if the Batman basically became the Joker. So, like, the Batman in that universe killed the Joker, but when, when he killed him, it released this, like, laughing gas that transformed him into the Joker. And he's a he's the creepiest-looking Batman. Yeah, that's all pictures. And, and he's got, like, three or... He's got, like, three or four, like, goblin monster Robins <laughs> that, that run around him. So it's basically the, all the Robins the like... Um, Tim Drake and Dick Grayson, but to basically transform these horrible creatures. Um, and like the only, like it was basically like the Joker with all the training of Batman. So Batman really couldn't beat him. So the only way he could do it was to bring in a Joker to help him beat him basically. <laughs> but he's, he's, he survived and he's still running around and yeah, they're going to do another story with him. Uh, so that was cool. Uh, and Batman's going to get his trunks back. Just like Superman. Yay. Costume. 
That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you'd be excited over that. So excited. He's getting his under his he's gonna be superheroing again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what yeah. that is, go back and listen to the episode called Superheroing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And, nice. Uh, and so, go buy the shirt. And go buy the shirt on uh, shop.spreadshirt.com <laughs> slash I am geek. Anyway, so we're we're at out we're at an hour. Oh, we're at an hour. Yeah. Um, so stop wanted, right here. What? Stop right here. Whoop. No, I wanted to mention <laughs> that um, the other options in the poll was a uh, verse battle and a um, other. <laughs> <laughs> Anything but that. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Anything else, please. So the first <laughs> battle that we're thinking about, and we're gonna we'll we'll say it here, and you guys can tell us yay or nay. Um, we did last year um, <laughs> a thing called um, Battle Royale with Cheese, which was basically we'd pit two characters together and see decide who would win. Um, <laughs> yeah. Kind of worked, you know. It kind of worked. <laughs> Got an arrow to the neck, so. Um, <laughs> It kind of worked. We had fun with it. Some people wanted it to come back, so we thought, well, how can we do it different? Um, so we might do take two classic video games and just sort of discuss and verse them together for part of maybe the next episode and see how that goes, see what video game comes out on top. I was thinking maybe like we could start with the old standard Mortal Kombat versus Street Fighter. I think, Chris, you mentioned um, mm-hmm. Super Mario versus uh, Mega Man. Patreon, I think you mentioned sports games, and Chris was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so that's the thought we have. If you like it, let us know. If you don't like us, let us know. Or just don't let us know anything. I, <laughs> I don't if you know. don't say anything, we'll assume you want it. <laughs> yeah. So you can let us know on Twitter at I Am Geek Show or email us at I Am Geek Show at gmail.com or find us on Facebook. We're everywhere. 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 We see everything. And then the other, I don't know, maybe we'll do a cooking show. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) I can make make grilled cheese. (laughs) Hold on, the Pop-Tarts are about ready. (laughs) Actually, I'm a pretty good cook. I melted some butter. I uh, was a chef, or not a chef, but I was a cook for like six years or something at a gourmet restaurant, so... Mm-hmm. I, I went to Slotsky's once. <laughs> I swept the floor. Yeah, hey, hey, I took every meat that they had and I put it on top of a pizza. Hey, this is a family show. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know either. But it was know either. you tried to make it not a family show. Just <laughs> <laughs> you always say it, and you're the only, always the one that does it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so um, you guys got anything else? I think that wraps up Comic Con. Not uh, after that comment. <laughs> we just lost the rest of our listeners. <laughs> the one that was still listening. The one that was still listening. Aww. Hey, we would appreciate all of our listeners. Um, the like, share, you know, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Because we want to know that you like what you hear, so that we can make more. Um, let us know. Let us know what you like. and uh, Or if you don't like it at all, you can let us know, I guess. We'll just cry in the corner for a while. No big yeah, deal. That's my, my typical Tuesday night. No big deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Oh, so um, we have a Twitch channel now. What is what is it, Katrin? <laughs> <laughs> this is where Katrin comes in. <laughs> yeah, so we, uh, we do have Twitch channels. Twitch.tv slash I Am Geek Show. So I try to keep it the same as uh, what we have for everything else. So wherever there's social media, you find I Am Geek Show. But uh, so Twitch, we haven't played yet, but uh, uh, we're on, or we haven't we haven't broadcasted yet. I should say that. But we'll um, we'll try to broadcast some of our game playing. I, we'll have to figure out how we're going to make it um, work well because I think it will show only the gameplay of one person. Which if we're playing together, we'll see everything. Yeah. Um, but I think the audio will all come through, so you'll at least hear us goofing off and and talking about what's going on and and 
stinking well, up the place. So. Yeah. So if you want a good laugh, gameplay. Yeah. If yeah, if you want a good laugh, come watch our Twitch yeah. channel because we none of us are any good. But no. We enjoy no. playing, and it's pretty funny to watch and listen to you because I mean it's like an I Am Geek show. It's but, like another episode. Yeah, it's like another mm-hmm. episode, but it's on Twitch. And you get to watch us play video games and listen to us say ridiculous things the whole time. Um, so yeah. So if you need to feel play. better about your video game playing, <laughs> yeah, well, come on over to Twitch TV slash I Am Geek Show. So we'll probably be playing some Destiny, <laughs> maybe some uh, Call of Duty, um, I don't know, other stuff. I don't know. We'll see what yeah. we got. Chris just ha- just got a PS4, so he doesn't yeah. have many games um, yet. Yeah. So we we play what he has. Um, <laughs> Pretty much. He has a lot of games, to actually. me. Actually, I do have a few games. You know, <laughs> it's just so. we don't have those games. Yeah, we yeah don't you don't have them. them. They're not multi- <laughs> most of the games he has are not, not yeah. multiplayer. So. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so um, that's been episode 65. I don't know if we... Do we have any guests coming up? We're, we have some maybe talks in to get some guests in. We may have some guests coming up. We'll have some verse battles maybe coming up. We'll have, I don't know, some other stuff coming up. Six percent people wanted other stuff or whatever. <laughs> uh, but I hope you enjoy the show. We we love doing it, and we're gonna keep doing it. And um, shout out whether to all you, our what, whether you like it or what? not. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to all our podcast friends. Um, Conspired. You can listen to it. if you like uh, creepy stuff. Listen to them. If you're a sports guy like Chris here, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> sports. <you> <laughs> What's your favorite sport, Chris? Uh, that one with the ball. Um, or was it a puck or something? I don't. Anyway. Either it goes like in a hole or. If you like sports, check out Sideline Warning uh, <laughs> podcast. Anyway, so we are I am Geek. Listen to us first, though, uh, which you are right now. So it's okay. You're listening to us. That's the only way you could hear this. If you're listening to us, um, better not have listened to the others first. <laughs> And we will catch you next week on I Am Geek. See you real soon. Epic, fantastic, spectacular, one of the best, super, the, all words that have been said on I Am Geek. Do you want to hear more words? Then check us out at IamGeekShow.com or wherever you listen to podcasts. Hey, this is Ryan. And I'm Chris. (laughs) Come on. (laughs)